Filt is going to teach us how to organize and use the equipment we find during our adventures. There are many different equipment types, such as weapons, armor, shields, wands, scrolls and food. Different items are used in different ways. To see the equipment we are carrying, we use the inventory command. To see the equipment we are actively using, type equipment. The get, drop and put commands allow you to manipulate your inventory. The give command is used to give items to other characters in the game. To get a sword on the ground, type get sword. To drop it, type drop sword. If you are carrying more than one sword and want to drop the second one, type drop two dot sword. You can also use drop second dot sword in the two formats as shown on the screen. To drop all the swords in your inventory, type drop all dot sword. The two dot item and all dot item syntax also works with get, put, sell and several other commands. For more details, read help get. I have brought up the help file for a quick look. You can also drop coins with the drop command, but you need to put in an amount that you are wanting to drop, like drop 5 coins. I shall do this now to show you. The mud tells me that I have dropped 5 gold coins. Typing look, we can see that there are a few gold coins on the ground in the room. To pick them up, we can type get all dot coins, which then goes back into our gold total. If you watched my scorecard on the right side of the screen, you would have seen the total go from 7,035 gold to 7,030 gold and back again when I picked the coins up. Let me do it again so you can see. We can use the get and put commands to get items from and put items into containers. rget works in the same way as get, but will target items in the room first rather than what's in your inventory. For example, rget item bag with a bag in inventory and one on the ground will get the item from the bag on the ground. It is not possible to put gold into a container. It is very important that you do not drop precious items on the ground. As we progress through the game, some of the items you find, are given or purchase, are very important and non-replaceable. If you drop these on the ground, you may lose them, especially if Ardwolf does crash, which, while rarely happens, is still a possibility. Or if Ardwood reboots, which, while planned, may take place while you are offline. If either happens, you will lose any items that are not on your character. This means they need to be in your inventory. If you give your precious items to another player to hold for you, you have to be certain that they will actually hold them and not drop them on the ground and then log off. There is a certain amount of trust involved in this, so if you do pass your equipment on to someone else, make sure they are worthy of this trust. Typing inventory, you can see that we have six potions from Nurse Orcron, the Viper skin belt from Commander Dar, a small face mask from one of the dummies in the Academy basement, an Olympic souvenir that a player gave to me while I was idling in the Academy, though I have no idea why, and the Ardwolf newbie guide. Typing equipment, you can see that I have the very basic newbie starting gear a sword, a shield, pants and a jerkin. Many items in the game, such as bags and chests, are considered containers. Containers are used to store other items so they don't clutter up your inventory. Some containers are magical and allow you to carry more than you would normally be able. Read Help Containers for more information on containers. To see items in a container named bag, use the command look in bag. 
To take items from the same container, use get item from bag. To put items in a container, use put item in bag. The to.item and all.item options also work with containers. For example, to put all your swords in a bag, you would enter put all.sword in bag. Sometimes you want to make sure you don't accidentally drop or lose an item. To mark an item so you cannot drop it or give it to monsters, use the keep item command. To see more on this, read help keep. The keep command is a very easy one to use and looks to be very handy. As you hunt throughout Ardwarf and collect equipment from the corpses of your enemies, you will collect a large number of items that you do not want. But just typing drop all means that you will also drop those few items you do want to hold on to. The keep command allows you to set a flag on an item that prevents it from being lost on accident. You will not be able to eat, sell, auction, drop or give a kept item to a monster. Items with this flag will show with a red K symbol before them and will show held in the flags line of identify and law. To be able to drop, sell, eat, auction or give away a kept item, simply unkeep it. We will see what is in Filt's bag in the second part of this training video.